Hey, what's up? Thanks for clicking on today's video. You are going to see some of the best stuff we've ever picked up because we started focusing on something different. Let's go find things by studying what we sell really well. So you're going to love this one hanging out with even some extended family in these quick thrift trips and we scored on some incredible finds. You gotta get one of the little carts. Yeah, hey, how you doing, man? I like shoes in the sweatshirt, looking good. Keep thinking about it. Ah, sparkle park. There you are, dear. Okay, yeah. Um, want to look at it? Doesn't oh. know much about Nike Brothers. Um, yeah, it needs a little cleaning. Whoa. It's, I think, a large kid's size. It's maybe a women's uh, size. But a jacket with with the sweater pattern. Yeah, so I don't see a price on it. Okay. I don't think I saw a price on it. I know we talked about it saying no. But it's a Kylo Ren. Yeah. And then I can lift up this vintage Reebok jacket. Very large size. It's made in Taiwan. It's a pullover. Yeah. Old logo. That's big. And then I still gotta look these up. They were just like a weird neo. neo. Hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. You seeing anything, Grammy? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure where it's gonna go. But... <laughs> I got gummy bears, Dad. You had gummy bears. All right, you want to put that back? I'll put this back, okay. and I'll put these back. Okay. Yes, the jacket, couldn't find an exact on eBay. So he's got one, still listed as children. Yeah, because it's like, it's a 14, 16, that's a like large kid size. On somewhere else for 180, and then somebody's got it on Poshmark for 80. So. There we go. And four six is your change. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. You have a nice weekend. You too. Oh, yeah. Look at your cool shirt, by the way. With the rug rat. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. You want to go? What's up? Hey. I was like, there could be somebody else coming, right? <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, so we're going to go Did did we sell our other pair like that? Uh, the trail runner. Look what was just sitting on the shelf. Yo. Get this just for the show. The what? It's not Squishmallow, but I'm trying to, to think through. So get these for at home. The water balloon? Nozzle attachment and water balloon. Oh, okay. I don't know, it's from 2007. I just need to look it up. And then another one of these. I feel like that took so long to sell that. Did it? Okay. So as I'm putting some of this stuff away, um, didn't get the footage, but they brought out a shoe cart and you're gonna wanna hang out to the end of the video. We're gonna go over everything and you will not believe how that shoe cart was. All right. I didn't, I did looked, you look it up? I tried to. I looked, everything, when I did the USA, everything with an American flag came up. So I had a hard time. Did you say made in USA? Yes. Oh. Yeah. But uh, I got excited, but those are just like no. North side. I've and, seen them before. Oh, man. No, I've seen them before. Let me check these DVDs up here. All right. So we're back home to go through everything. First, I'm just going to shout out the awesome shirt. <laughs> that you picked up at a thrift store. You got to wear it. We yeah. got our little Rugrat, other Rugrat on the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> one of the boys is probably going to do that all the time when <laughs> that one gets here. Acting that way. <laughs> but yes, we went through the other night to analyze what we had sold the most of in the last, you know, 30 days. Mm hmm and what were our three largest categories? Yeah, so we kind of broke it down by category of what we had sold the most of. And you said the three largest? Yeah. Okay. So that was um, shoes, clothes, and toys were like our three largest. We also, in there was like kind of like the vintage collectible, the kind of random nostalgia the, type The 80s, stuff. 90s. Stuff, that does yeah. pretty good for us too but yeah the top three were clothes toys and shoes so with that we were like well why don't we kind of 
can we go to the thrift focus store a little bit more on those things narrow down no we're not just gonna be like a one or two like niche we're not doing yeah, that i don't think we're ready to and do that's that fine right now people want to do that but i think it played out pretty well we're gonna go over everything you saw some of it in the video uh some of it like the goodwill cart that brought out yeah, more shoes were, were after <laughs> uh i think the last thrift store you only saw one or two things you know that we picked up so we're gonna go over that i think we got like one piece of sports equipment and one toy toys yeah. were like our fourth place they were pretty high up there like and there was yeah shoes clothing the vintage stuff and toys and toys yeah so we got one toy you know um Please know, this is not a disclaimer of those are the best-selling things. This no, is, we just that's just what is selling for us. And you know? what we find a lot of. Mm -hmm. If you find a rare item that is selling great for you, the way we did this is go back. Proof is in the pudding. We list a ton of stuff. I think we're getting close to 60 to 70 items a week. So it's not that we're not listing a lot of diverse things. We're just showing you what we sell a lot of mm -hmm. and what we think our customers are coming back to buy enough of that let's go over some stuff okay yep. so right here were yep. those new balance we got those at the very last thrift store yeah they're just they're nothing like special they're just new balance fresh foam arishi arishi but just show the bottoms Dang. these are our favorite shoes to pick up yeah these are in ready to list condition yeah. i mean minus the one little mark there for whatever that means to the store <laughs> um they are in excellent condition they were going um, like 30 plus shipping or 40 free shipping so yeah. good easy little pickup yeah and yeah i think the store that we got these i think we got these at the first store actually yes yeah, sorry was the first store yeah, you're right you're right a total of 30 for everything at that store so these shoes will take care of that then we went on to Goodwill. Yeah, I think everything else maybe. Everything from else came from Goodwill. In the store, I don't even know if you saw me pick up those. You saw these. Yeah. I saw L.L. Bean, the Bean Boots, if you don't know. Yeah. Please know, Bean Boots. They are good. They're always a good one. These are the fully waterproof all the way up. If you mm -hmm. look these up, um, a good way to get your indicator is how many ringlets are up the side. Yeah, I literally... Pilots just look that up yeah the eight eyelet mm -hmm. full gusset called, like yeah gusseted or something um they do not have the gore-tex lining inside but these are still going to go for 75 80 dollars if they had <laughs> the gore-tex lining they actually i've seen them go upwards of 150 dollars so mm -hmm. really good pickup i think our boots are eight dollars yeah, something like that eight dollars for boots at goodwill but then they brought this card out you had already bought everything yeah, the checkout, and i see go. these new balances it was a new balance day again. once again easy again. brand new and fresh. easy lister 520 they got the nice foam midsole uh a nice another you know 30 bucks not too bad then we saw these mm -hmm. down in the bottom the yeah. new balance fresh foam 1080 mm -hmm. Uh, good size, mm -hmm. still a has some more... tread life. Yeah, a little bit more wear, but... We'll have to do a little bit of cleaning, not too bad, but should do another 30, 35 bucks. And then I saw North Face. Um, I priced out North Face boots for this girl, so I was like, <laughs> North, ba North Face boots. Yeah, retail, they go for a lot. Yes. I think we'll still easily get $50 for these, so... A yeah. really nice. I can't remember the name of it. I'll put I the sold either. comp up. Something, something tall. But I was like, they just need a little bit of like cleaning down here. The bottoms are really good. You can do the cute little fold over. <laughs> you know. She thinks of all the cute things. Yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> so, yeah. But I snagged oh, these. Yeah. They were in that cart. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I just saw All-Stars and I was like, I wonder if these are vintage All-Stars. I literally pulled them from the bottom of the basket and they just kept going. Yeah. Yeah. And so he comes up to me as I'm like checking out and I'm like, yes, 
Yes, get them. I was like, I don't, couldn't remember comps off the top of my head, but I just knew to get them. Um, so do you want to tell them what they go for? When we no, you, comps? you looked it up. They are women's size eight. Yeah, they're a great size. They're a women's size eight. Um, these on the conservative low end, uh, we will get $125 for. Look at that. $125. Yeah, I was really shocked when I looked them up because I knew that they were good. I just didn't know how good. Um, but Bolo, Knee High Converse. I think these probably go for a little bit more because they're that classic black. Classic black and white, yes. Um, but amazing. I was super excited when we looked that up so, to see. So, uh, pause in the video. Uh, we spent a hundred and thirty dollars. I mean, no, a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars at all of the stores. So those boots alone pay for everything. Pay for everything, which everything. is great. All right, before we get into clothing, because you did very good on the clothing. Okay. Um, I picked this up. It doesn't go for a lot, but maybe a whatnot auction, or maybe I'll keep it. It's not vintage. It just has that nice embroidered. Mm -hmm. Team Turtles. It looks cool. It might be my summer yard so hat. We'll it's see. Just fun. Um, here's the one toy. Uh, I saw this one toy, and you would say, why would you buy one toy? A, because it was 10 cents. But this will go $10 free shipping because it is Dino Trucks. Yep, Dino Trucks. I started, like, rummaging through all the shelves. I was like, if there's one, there's got to be more. If there had just been three of these lotted up, mm -hmm. that's $25, $30 plus shipping yeah, all day. for a tiny little toy. <laughs> right here, you found that Nike glove. Yes. Um, again, I can't tell you anything about it. I was just like, I don't think you often see Nike baseball gloves. And mm -hmm. I didn't see a price, so I was like, I don't know. Let me just go check it out. So I think you looked up comps on it, right? 12-inch uh, mm -hmm. right-handed glove. This will go for $30 plus shipping. So yeah. good pickup. I think yeah, needs a little bit of cleaning. Yeah, it's got some dirt, but not too bad at all. And this was only five bucks. Yeah. And by itself, you know, you're like five and a 30. But when you look at the entire, we spent $30 at this one store alone. Mm -hmm. So once again, I don't mind paying $5 for an item that's getting into the peak season. And it will sell very yeah, quickly and pay for the rest of the haul but yes let's talk about clothes, clothes. we went to three thrift stores mm -hmm. you know we bought some good stuff we got to hang out with grammy today yeah my grandma came along with us she was able to one of the the thrift stores is on a military base and we can't get on there ourselves and she's <laughs> never been so she wanted to go with us so shout out grammy <laughs> <laughs> um but at the last store um, you found this polo, uh, Ralph Lauren sweater, but it's made in USA, USA. If you guys can see that. It could be fake. I don't know. I, I just saw it. It was clean. I mean, clean. it's got the tiny little embroidered It was on there. blue. It's in good shape. I mean, I, I hope think... it's not fake. No, but even so, once again, people buy these for the look. It has the polo logo yeah it's a it's a men's extra large which is a good size so we should be able to get like 30 bucks out of this yep. which is good just good um most of the clothes came from Hold on. I'm a sleepy dog over there yep she's passed out yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Uh, most of the clothes came from one thrift store this is just like a little it's a torrid um tank top but it's like a little sheer with lip print on it I was a little surprised when I looked up comps on this, because um, I know Torrid is more of like a bread and butter kind of seller, not really any like home runs usually, but I was like, well, let me see if it's worth picking up. And this little tank top will go for like $27. So wow. I was pretty surprised about that. That is cool. Pretty surprised about that. Then you picked up some familiar names. Yes. Um, Lily Pulitzer. So this is like a um, three quarter sleeve little dress here. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got a little stain on the bottom that I did see in the store, but I think they can easily get that out in the wash. Yeah. Um, so this, what did I say for this too? Like $30? Yeah. Comps on this particular dress here. So. If, if she's wrong, we'll put the correct one yeah, up we'll here. It's fine. Guys, don't hold up. us to it. We're trying to use our memory. Yeah, a lot of times okay. you just go by memory and I'm like, I don't know. This was so long ago. We know it'll make good money. <laughs> it feels long ago in my head. 
Um, this is another Lily Pulitzer. This is a tank top, so it's getting in the good season for that. Um, this should go, I have to find like this exact little pattern and what this style tank top is called, but I think I can get like 20, maybe $25 for this one. Okay. This cool. This was super. Nike. Oh, we already gave away a little bit what's under there. But that's okay. They'll see in a second. This cool Nike, um, like pullover windbreaker. Yeah. It's on like the eighties style, um, Nike tag or the eighties Nike tag. Yeah, it's a, what, three-quarter zip? Three-quarter lip. Lip. <laughs> three-quarter zip uh, women's uh, medium yeah. pullover. So it just looks cool. A cool look. It's got a little pocket. Nice color. Like, if this is authentically 80s, it's in very good shape. Yeah, like, it needs, you know, just to, like, a regular wash. Like, there's one little spot there, but I don't think that's a stain. Like, I think that'll just come off. So... Cool little pickup. Yeah. But look at that tag there. Yay. This was a unique pickup. For sure. Why don't you show them what yeah. this thing is? I just realized it even says Kuji on the zipper. Yeah. That's, um, you know, it's real deal. But it's a Kuji jacket. <laughs> look, look at, at this thing. That. It's like got the Kuji sweater style thing going on here with like the little. The leather sleeves leather. like a bomber jacket. It's, yeah. It's like a bomber jacket. Yeah, but this was just like hanging on the rack, and I was like, uh, yep, this is going to go on the cart. Oh, man, look, it even says, it spells Coogee in the thread. I just realized that. <laughs> this thing just gets cooler and cooler. Um, she might keep it. <laughs> it's I don't think I can pull this off. <laughs> um, but it's, a, so it's a youth jacket, like it's a size 14, 16. But you were looking it up and... Um, this youth extra large, they're not going to yeah. be this way all the time. This actually fits like a women's medium. Yeah, like I put this on and it fits me. You're it's, like, you're a few months the, prego. The sleeves aren't too short and yeah. like, it got around my belly. Um, I, I think we so could list this even as a, like a women's small men's medium. small women's medium. It, it fits yeah. pretty good, and, you know, you're a few months prego. Uh, yeah. So it, it actually did very well. Yeah, I, this thing is so cool. I realistically think that Nike jacket, probably $45.50. Oh, yeah. I think this one, uh, we could list it. There's not a lot of competition. There's one up for auction. I think we could get 80 to $100 on that. If we market it and size it correctly, it's not mm -hmm. season. No, it, of I mean, course. no, we're definitely getting out of the season for jackets. But, but... I'm like, low end, quick sell, 50 bucks. But I and it's think... it's in such good shape. Yeah, it's a great looking jacket. So cool. So, you found Kuji like last time. And now you're finding the real Kuji. Yeah, Kuji like in the last <laughs> uh, video. And then the real deal Kuji so, jackets. I think the proof is in the pudding. Okay? We easily three hundred dollars in shoes yeah probably another two hundred dollars 250 in clothing you know a 30 dollar glove a ten dollar toy yeah a hat that i'll keep we got a few things for ourselves we got water balloons for the boys mm -hmm. you found you a nice little summer dress that you can yes, wear so fit. so all in that for a hundred dollars and i think we can easily easily get over five hundred dollars for this and it was buying things that we are shipping very well like once again this is not to harp on it we just looked at what we sell a lot of mm -hmm. uh and naturally for us like glassware it's very tough to pack and stuff but we do not sell a ton of it you know yeah like we went and i'm like you know i love to find like cool vintage kitchenware type things and there are certain brands you know that always stick yeah. out to you but we don't sell a whole lot of our kitchen stuff. So this is the stuff that is selling great for us. And this is the stuff that we love finding. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wrap up the video. Please let us know. Hey, we're not the smartest in the world. We're pretty dumb. So <laughs> let us know if we did miss stuff. Like we love when people watch these videos. I've had yeah. other people ask great questions. I love answering those questions. I try to respond to every comment that we get. 
Uh, because if I can learn something or somebody said, why didn't you pick that up? And yeah, if you saw a brand that we just skipped over or something that we should have looked up, let us know. Yeah, but hey, we just wanted to bring you another fun video and we got to do it with extended family. They got to see how they go thrifting leisurely and we do it for, <laughs> for work. So, yep. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to give this video a like. If nothing else, like it for the Rugrats shirt, okay? Yeah, Just like it like, for... Yes, give Chucky the thumbs up. Because you know what? I even found this at a thrift store. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know if it'll fit, but it's coming home with me. It's okay. You can just wear this with it. See? Go ahead. Put it on. <laughs> she is like retro to out. There we go. Like she is. I don't think this is my style hat, but I'll do it. No. That looks good. <laughs> but subscribe if you haven't already. We're always going to bring you some great finds great ways to flip them and we're always gonna have fun but make yes. the world a better place and I said I would explain this last time with a sale and a smile if you're into reselling we hope that your day gets better by just getting a sale under your belt or getting some listings done mm -hmm. but smiles whether you're a reseller or not watching this when you walk by someone if you're in the grocery store smile at them yeah it will brighten their day if their day is already going good it's just gonna get better if their day isn't going so well, you may chase, like change the course of their day. So change the world, yes, with a sale and a smile. And a smile. All right, we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>